this dip is ready to go. girl cute today guess what i gave y'all a little hint we're about to make some cowboy caviar it's about to go down this recipe is so easy but it's so fire you could do this at any party you have people over your house they will think you slaved over a stove for this and the reality is like <laughs> i kind of did but not really Super easy, super simple. Y'all know and I live in that realm. Nobody will know. You can serve this as a dip with like tortilla chips. I love scoops because you can get everything in there. Or you can serve it with like pita bread. Either way, the recipe is straight fire and the entire base of it is like black eyed peas. You can get fresh black eyed peas if you want. And if you want to go through and count out each black eyed pea and make sure it's perfect, you can do that. But if you are me, Honey, I'm trying to eat fast, okay? So, Kroger's with the S. If you my daddy, you said Kroger's, it got an S. Myers, it has an S. You add the S and then you know it's real, okay? Either way, you need to hit Kroger's or any of your grocery stores. They have them in the freezer section where they are, um, and again, y'all know how I am. You gotta click it over to the back to see what the real ingredients are. And guess what? This is just black eyed peas. God is good. We got a little corn. We got some tomatoes, some avocado, balsamic vinaigrette, fresh parsley, and guess what? You cook the black eyed peas the way you do on the packet, and that's really you just boil them until they're done. And then you guess what you do? Pour them in a bowl. Look at that. Now I'm gonna tell you my hack, because when you cook your black eyed peas, the back eyed peas are going to be like hot. You see the smoke coming off it? So this corn is another package that you can get of frozen corn. You can use fresh corn or you can use frozen corn. I use frozen corn because it cools down the beans quick for me. Right? Everything is all about a hack and how can I get this done quickly? So this corn, I'm going to put right inside of my black eyed peas. Look at it. Look y'all, frozen. Only thing I did was rinse them and I'm putting them inside of this container because I want this to cool off our um, black eyed peas and then I'm gonna start chopping stuff to go on top of it. See how black eyed peas are already, they're already hot. So you see the smoke, boop, boop, boop. Now, let's talk about it. The next thing that we need to do, we need to get ready is get our tomatoes sliced and diced. I'm gonna set this to the side because we already got what we need. You guys know I'm all about the hack life. So I am going to um, easily cut our cherry tomatoes um, in half by pouring a bunch of them on side of this lid, cause y'all know how I am. And then I'm gonna take another lid to stick on top of it and then they don't move, you see? They don't move. But now I can take a whole knife and literally I can cut straight through. So now all these, are already sliced. Cause y'all know I'm not about to do one tomato at a time. Y'all already know I'm not about to do that. Throwing this inside, just throw it in the bowl. Throwing it in the bowl, all of it. And put a hat on me. Avocados. So I'm gonna probably get like a couple avocados. To combine all this together and to make it just be the glue and let it stick, we're gonna to top this with some balsamic vinaigrette. So for now, I did like half of my cup. I'm gonna to get to, look how pretty it looks. The rest, and mind you guys, this is just balsamic vinegar. Y'all! Yeah! Catch it. Look how pretty. Isn't that pretty? This dip is ready to go. I don't know if you've ever done this, like when you're like, oh my God, I want some corn, I want some chips, but I don't have the chips, but you got corn tortillas at home. Literally all I did was grab my tortillas. I turned them into uh, little triangles, sprayed them with a little bit of my uh, olive oil. Spray, spray, not real olive oil. Um, and then I'm going to put these in the oven for literally about three or four minutes and watch what happens. 
Are y'all ready? Okay, guys. This was like three, four minutes. Literally, these are corn tortillas that we turned into chips. And now we got something to put with our dip. And it's not some boring chips, because I tell people all the time, half the stuff y'all go buy at the store, you can make it your own self, child. Listen. What is it, ASRM? <laughs> For some fools that need to hear it. And it's a solid chip that holds your dip, because you know sometimes you get those chips and they do not hold the dip. So now, you really just learned two recipes in one. You can make your own tortilla chips, and now you got your cowboy caviar. Y'all already know how I am. If you make the recipe, which you should, mama over the glass there. Make the recipe, but tag me in on everything social. Hashtag cooking with Q on all things social. And you already know until next time, may your taste buds be forever satisfied. Yeah! a black eyed peas song <laughs> you know what song is stuck in my head everybody ever because that's what we've been singing all day they do where is the love what's her famous i'm gonna be 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 that's one of their songs right yes, so this let's give black eyed peas some, some love while i run and get a spoon for us <laughs> i'm gonna be i'm gonna be with fergie because y'all know i love me some fergie but fergie was like fergalicious but that's not black eyed peas that's just fergie well since you were here anyway you may as well do do what you already know you're going to do. Just click subscribe right here. Please, I appreciate you with the love of Christ. You want to watch the next video? Click that one. Okay? I love y'all. Get the boxing this up.